Netflix started out shipping DVDs to customers through the mail. Then it started streaming other people's movies and TV shows. Then it started making its own movies and TV shows. Now Netflix is marking its first big move beyond TV shows and films, by started rolling out its video games with the introduction of five mobile games. The games are now available in Android phones and Apple's iOS. It's a move that is both obvious and surprising. If you have paid attention to Netflix over the years, you have seen this move coming. Netflix executives, starting with CEO Reed Hastings, have mused for years about the fact that games are a major source of competition for Netflix users' time and money. More concretely, it was reported earlier this spring that the company was considering offering a bundle of games to subscribers, similar to the ones Apple offers via its Apple Arcade service. For years, Netflix executives have been asked when they will get into live sports or live news, or when they will add advertising to the service. The response is always the same, Netflix thinks a single-minded focus is the best way to win, and branching out beyond on-demand movies and TV shows would be a distraction. Now, the company says, it's willing to try something new, while arguing that free games are a reasonable extension of what it's already doing. The company's subscription model means, they don't have to think about ads in games. They don't have to think about in-game purchases or other monetization, they don't have to think about per title purchases. Netflix accepts, it doesn't really know anything about making and hosting video games. But it says it didn't know anything about making its own content, when it agreed to make House of Cards in 2011, and that has worked out fine since. But that seems like a stretch. When Netflix tells the story about its first move into original content, it said that it thought its customers would like House of Cards, because it knew its customers like other dark political soap operas. And while Netflix didn't know anything about making shows, when it started 10 years ago, it didn't really have to know that. It simply paid David Fincher, Kevin Spacey, and production company Media Rights Capital to make the show, and then it streamed it to customers, the same way it streamed the other shows and movies it already had but figuring out how to make games is a very different skill set than making TV shows and movies. Which is why most big entertainment companies have failed, whenever they've tried to get into games themselves. Big tech companies like Amazon, Apple, and Google have all swung and missed to varying degrees as well. So it's entirely possible that Netflix's move into games could flop, too. On the other hand, as even the most Hollywood executive knows by now, games are bigger than Hollywood, and they are not going away. If it's going to take a long time to figure out, for Netflix, it's better to get started sooner than later.